The Queen delighted royal watchers by making an unannounced appearance on the balcony of Buckingham Palace as the four-day Platinum Jubilee celebrations came to a close. Her Majesty stepped out once again on the balcony of her residence in London, sending the thousands of royal fans gathered in the mall into a frenzy. The Queen walked out of the palace with the help only of her light walking stick. In what was the perfect conclusion of an extended four day bank holiday weekend filled with events celebrating the sovereign's reign and life, the beaming Queen was accompanied on the balcony by her son and heir, Prince Charles. Showing the future of the monarchy, she was joined on the balcony by her grandson Prince William and great grandson Prince George, the third in line to the throne. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, were also in attendance as the future Queen Consorts. And, to the delight of royal fans looking up at the balcony, the royals were joined by adorable Prince Louis and Princess Charlotte, who are widely expected to become working royals when they grow up and support their elder brother in carrying out his duty. As she stepped out on the balcony wearing a dark green outfit, People near Buckingham Palace let out deafening cheers to express their happiness and surprise. Dot the Queen waved and smiled widely at those standing in the mall and around Queen Victoria's statue. The crowds then joined the royals on the balcony and singing God Save the Queen, while the monarch looked on. Dot after the anthem ended, blue, white and red smokes exploded in the air which sparked a huge smile on the Queen's face. Dot shortly after, the monarch returned inside her residence, followed by her family and thousands of clapping hands and cheers in her honor. Dot hopes the Queen would return to the palace on the last day of Jubilee celebrations were first raised in late May, after sources claimed the sovereign wanted the world to see the heartbeat of her family and the future of the monarchy by stepping onto the balcony only with her direct heirs and their closest relatives. Dot a royal source told the Mirror at the time, Her Majesty believes it will send a strong message to the world, that despite the family's trials and tribulations over the past few years, those at the very top are united in getting on with the job sharing her sense of duty and dedication to serving the people of this country and the Commonwealth. Dot moreover, as the pageant was coming to a close, eagle-eyed royal watchers noticed the Union flag on Buckingham Palace being lowered to be replaced with the royal standard. Dot this marked a clear sign the monarch had arrived at the palace, and was likely to return into the spotlight. The royal appearance on the balcony came at the end of a spectacular pageant, which saw thousands of people performing through a three-kilometer-long route, including horse guards, Whitehall and the Mall. The four-act pageant included puppets, celebrities aboard double-decker buses and poignant tributes to the seven-decade-long reign of the monarch. While the Queen did not watch the performance in person, many members of her family gathered in the royal box located near the palace. Dot alongside the royals on the balcony were also Mike and Zara Tindall with their daughters Lena and Mia. Dot Peter Phillips and their daughters Savannah and Isla were also in attendance, as was Princess Anne with her husband Sir Timothy Lawrence. The spectacular pageant stunned the royal children in particular, with Charlotte, Louis, Mia and Peter's daughters moving around their seats to better see the performers and discuss what was happening below the box. The Queen's appearance today follows the tomb made on Thursday. The monarch stood on the balcony for the first time on the first day of the Jubilee celebrations to take the salute from her troops, accompanied only by her cousin Prince Edward, the Duke of Kent. Following the end of the Trooping the Colour Parade, she returned onto the balcony, this time accompanied by all the working royals in the firm, Sir Timothy Lawrence, the Cambridge's children and the Lady Louise and James, Viscount Severn. Together, they watched the RAF fly past, this year composed of 70 aircraft in honor of the monarch's 70 years on the throne.